What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode number 63 and today we are returning with the season finale as we take on Liverpool in the FA Cup final. Going in search of our second piece of silverware this season after winning the Copa Europe at the start of the year. But sadly not a domestic double after the last episode where we did beat Everton in dramatic fashion at Goodison Park on the final day. But sadly missed out on the title by one point to Antonio Conte's Chelsea. So yeah, today a one game special just like the last game. It's Liverpool in the FA Cup final as we try and win our first ever FA Cup under my management. This for a place in the record books, the history books and the hands on this wonderful trophy. It's the FA Cup final. And as we're going to dive straight into the game as well, Wembley is set for an epic FA Cup final as Aston Villa take on Liverpool here in London as we go in search of our second piece of silverware of the season. Uh, missing out on the title was devastating, but hopefully we won't feel sorry for ourselves and we'll be motivated as ever to get the job done. We're lining up in a 3-5-2 as always. Same team as the one that beat Everton with one change, McCarthy coming in for Riccardi as he's our cup goalkeeper. But as for Liverpool, what a fantastic team. Lining up in a 4-3-3, a fantastic defensive button in goal, but for a Robertson, Toby out of red, Martinez and Sergio Roberto with a great midfield trio and a threatening front three as well. Coutinho on the left, Marnie on the right and a region of striker. Aston Villa, Liverpool, FA Cup final. Let's win our first ever of the series. Come on. So you might be wondering why I'm not doing a live Q&A for this game like the past two finals. I just went to vary it up. Uh, I like doing live highlights. I like doing live Q&As. So I thought I did live Q&As in the past two. Why not do a live highlights one for this one? So yeah, it's um, it's going to be a tense, nervy game though. I don't want to finish up with just a cup of Europe and miss out on both the Premier League oh, and the FA Cup within a space of a week. And Divock Origi could have given the Reds a lead there. He was played through and McCarthy had a very simple save. He seemed to kick the turf. As Grealish sends Bustos down the right. What an escape for Aston Villa early. Bustos crosses in towards Christian. Controls volleys and Butland saves. Fast start from both teams, but still 0-0. We kick one by Liverpool. Dale Fry tripping up Divock Origi. And a great chance here for Philippe Coutinho, now of Barcelona, to give the Reds the lead here at Wembley. 20 minutes in. It's going to be the Brazilian to take it. He's got Vinaldo with him as well. Coutinho does run over it. Vinaldo plays it short to Chan. And Omre Chan fires it just over the bar. 20 minutes in, still 0-0, but a very fast start here at Wembley. Who's going to draw first blood? Bustos into Brereton. Great flick. And now Grealish getting away. Has Brereton running in. It's going to be laid off to Ben Brereton. My goodness. And he's had a good end to the season. Scored against Everton and should have scored here as well. 24 minutes in. Great hold up play by Grealish. And Ben, wow. That went a mile wide the post, and I can't believe this, but starting a very great start here at Wembley, it's still 0-0. Both teams have fantastic attacks, they're absolutely lethal, but in this game, there have been anything but that. There's been some great chances, but we're yet to see the first goal when we really should have done. But here's Vinaldum on the ball, getting around his man, finding a Origi, he won't miss this one, and he doesn't. Bottom corner, and the goal is going to come eventually. It was just who was going to be more clinical. Divo Origi makes a great chance earlier, he's not going to miss that one. And half an hour in, Liverpool draw first blood. I mean, it was coming. We were going to see the first goal at some point. And there we go. Diwa Karigi played through by Vijnaldum's out. Defence parted. And a good finish by the Belgian into the bottom corner. And Liverpool strike first here at Wembley with Origi's fourth of the FA Cup. There's an hour worth of football to play. I'm shrugging my shoulders. So I'm feeling quite confident we'll get back into it. But... First goal scored by Liverpool. We need a response now. Brereton gets onto that ball and plays it back to Toby. And there's a man out wide there in Schutt. And if Benteke peels off his man, he's away down that left-hand side. He's got Roberto to beat, but he's been taken down. And that was a brilliant challenge by Sergio Roberto. He won the ball fairly. He took Benteke down as well. But that was a great tackle and the right decision. I'm complaining on the touchline, but I shouldn't be. That was a brilliant tackle. And Liverpool still lead by a goal. Diwa Karigi back to Vinaldum and the Reds still lead by one but as Fry releases Brereton a chance to cut the not cut the lead but get back on level terms Brereton doesn't miss this one both Origi and Ben miss golden chances earlier in the game but they don't miss their next ones Ben Brereton sent forward breaks clear of the last man fires it home and just before the break we're back on level terms this has been an excellent first half that was a great tackle by Roberto a minute ago but this time no one could bring Brereton down as he was going through one on one 
one, puts it past Jack Butland and into the top corner. Aston Villa won, Liverpool won, a fantastic first half at Wembley. I'm going to head into the dressing room, all square, courtesy of Ben Brereton. Second half is underway as we are still tied at 1-1 after a really good first 45 minutes. Neither side played badly, both teams going for goals, both teams getting one each. And as things stand, an all-square FA Cup final. So who's going to score the all-important third goal of the game? Will it be Jack Grealish for Aston Villa? No, because Jack Butler makes the save and turns it behind for a corner. Still 1-1, but I can definitely see more goals in normal time. No question. And Benteke has just been denied by a fabulous save by the former Stoke goalkeeper, Jack Butler, turning up big. What a stop there. Eight minutes after the restart. Great start from Aston Villa this. Can we now find that goal to get in front? Christian Menteke denied again by Butland. Jack Butland does not want to... Oh, he's got in! Jack Grealish just beat Butland to the ball. And he may have denied Menteke second to go. But Butland beaten by Jack Grealish. And Aston Villa do have the goal to get in front. It's been coming. We've ended the first half strong. We've started the second half strong. And we've come from behind to lead here at Wembley. Well, I want to see this on the replay because Butlin just made an amazing save on Benteke. The ball ballooned in the air and as he tried desperately to get to the ball first he got nowhere near it and Grealish heads it home and into the back of the net. You feel sorry for Butlin really because that was an amazing save and on Benteke a moment ago as well but he just couldn't get up quickly enough, get to the ball he flailed his arms towards it but Grealish was too quick for him. Last of the two, Liverpool won and we've done it again, coming from behind to lead. It's what we do. Three to stop his time now. Any goal for Liverpool will surely be a consolation as we wait for the final whistle. That will confirm it. Aston Villa are going to win their first FA Cup under my management. And despite losing out on the title, as Mane hits the post, we are going to win the FA Cup. It's been a great game, though, and you've got to say to Liverpool, fair play. You know, they made this a really great final. Their first half just played better than the second, but still a really great game. The most important thing, though, Aston Villa, FA Cup winners. That confirms what we've been knowing for some time, that they are the champions. Alan. Yeah, absolute joy amongst those players. They've worked long and hard, haven't they, over the course of the last nine months or so, and boy, they deserve it. These are special moments for a very successful team. Congratulations to them. Well, it is the most famous domestic club competition in the world, the oldest still widely celebrated and to go up to collect the FA Cup Alan you've done it yeah, it's a magnificent feeling and these players I think defensively they owe those defenders a, a big pat on the back because their success has been based on that the FA Cup winners Great moments these, Alan, sharing the joy on the field with those off it, the fans. They'll know where their particular friends and families are in the stadium. Yeah, it's at this point really you don't want to leave the pitch. You don't want these moments to end. Wonderful camaraderie between the lads. What a moment for them. You have to have the team photo and they're getting ready for it now yeah one of those lovely scenes that you'll hang on the wall back at home It was a brilliant game, this. Sometimes the finals can be a bit of a letdown, not this one. Four goals in 90 minutes, but three for Aston Villa and one for the Reds, who, to be fair, had a really great first half and a good game in general. But I felt we deserved a win. We had more shots, we had more on target, and, of course, score more goals as well. So, delighted to get the win. Coming from Ryan to do it. It's what we do. Come back, Kings, baby. Three won the final score. A man match to Brereton as well. Bagged a goal and two assists for the other two goals we scored as well. Ben Brereton had a bit of an inconsistent season, but a brilliant end to it as he helped us win our first 
first ever FA Cup of the series. So Liverpool got Bayern Munich in the Champions League final coming in just a few days' time. You'll see who won that uh, in the next episode in the new season opener. But... Oh my goodness, what a final, what a fantastic final that was, but it does end with success for Aston Villa, silverware in the trophy cabinet, as we do complete our first ever FA Cup, and I'm really pleased as well, because losing the Premier League on, on the final day, obviously we, we won, but it wasn't enough, that that would have been heartbreaking, now we lost the Premier League, and then lost the FA Cup final as well, but uh, three players had the deals that come at the end of the season, we need to give contracts to them, that's Keenan Davis, Hepburn Murphy, and was that Brereton I saw? Oh dear, better give him one. Uh, I think I'll do that off camera. And uh, we've got tournament prize money as well. How much do we get for that? Two million pounds to win the FA Cup. And there should be plenty in the budget for the, bu for the wages. Yeah, there's plenty in the budget. And uh, I'll do that off camera. And so the last thing you'll see is the objectives for the end of the season, where we have a manager rating of 95, one of the highest I've ever had, uh, as we fail, or we will fail probably our youth development objective. We hit both our short-term objectives and the brand exposure objective though. Reached our continental success objective. Uh, won both our domestic success objectives as well, uh, exceeded those, and we'll, we'll, yeah, we will finish the financial objective as well, and that is just fantastic. So that will end today's episode of Career Mode then, and the season finale too, guys. So a big thank you for watching. Uh, I really hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy the season finale of Career Mode, then please do drop a like, as likes are, of course, very much appreciated, and really help channel out. Uh, there will be no episode of Career Mode tomorrow, but I do have a new full Career Mode story for you guys to watch. It's going to be with Arsenal. It's going to be super fun. I really can't wait for it. It should be just as good as the Manchester City one I did last weekend. should be really enjoyable. Uh, that will be coming out tomorrow morning around 10 to 11 a.m. UK time. And then the new season of Career Mode is going to start on Monday afternoon, season four, well, we should have our biggest budget ever heading in to the Champions League for our second season, where hopefully we'll be able to pick up more pieces of silverware in hopefully an even more successful season. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Really hope you have enjoyed the episode and enjoyed season three. It's been fantastic. It ends with silverware. We are just delighted. Look at the stats on some of these players here. Christian Benteke, 32 goals in 46 games, top scorer in the FA Cup and the Premier League. What a monster. But yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great Saturday. Have a great weekend. Much love to each and every one of you. And I will see you for the start of the new season, season four, on Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. UK time.